Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Monday evening, I was back at work today for the first time since my holidays and it was actually a lot better than I expected so we're quite happy with that. Um, this evening I want to talk about what you have in your store cupboard. I saw an interesting TikTok earlier today because I've been watching them to see how everything's going in um, Tennessee, North and South Carolina, Florida etc. And one lady said she's a got a, she got a surprise when she went shopping. Um, obviously her situation is, is not too bad, the shops were opened etc. And she noticed that some of the shelves were wiped out, obviously your paper products, your water etc. And some were not. And the ones that were not were what we would call preps. It was things like canned goods, dried goods. Should your chips and dips and all that, your snackies, all gone? Absolutely. I mean, everyone's going to be looking for snacks. I would be too, just to get, you know, keep you going while you're doing the most immediate emergencies. So, but you know, it's going to be a while before all our electrics back to normal, before everything. So you need stuff that you can deal with, like whether you have to cook it in an open fire or a wood burner or use your barbecue or your camping stove so to get a proper meal. She said and the stuff for proper meals was still all on the shelf. So we could think in our fingers crossed kind of way, you know, in the glass half full, that that's because people, because they're, they're in an area that, that does get affected like that, they've maybe got all that. But it seems strange that these shelves were full and yet the, the instantly edible, you know, your stuff that you can eat right now had all gone. And she's like, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. There's supposed to be another hurricane coming in already. Um, so, so she especially canned goods that you can you know eat out the can if you have to um she's like i can't believe that they weren't wiped off the shelves and they weren't so i thought that was quite interesting and it just shows the way different people think and different different ways of preparing or whether you think you have to be prepared i mean i also saw another one where the guy was like yep you know we took precautions there's the sandbags there's the boarding up the water was 10 foot high, so it didn't matter what they did, nothing was happening, you know, they couldn't protect everything. Um, so yeah, that's something interesting and something I think, certainly for us here in the UK, where we don't have, or up until just now, haven't had such devastation as they have at the moment in those areas, but we're still getting floods and things like that more often than we used to and if you think if you're you know if you're in an area which is is starting to get flooded and you're not going to have your electricity till the guys manage to get it to, fixed on you know I mean for many of many people affected by flood they're, they're out of their home but for some it's a case of you know just clear out the floor and, and I'll be okay you know let it dry out for a while while the insurance is doing its thing um gas camping stove with some tins of food so that you can have a hot meal while your electricity is not on. Really, really good idea and something that you're going to be really, really thankful for. Um, so yeah, that was that was my thought today. Um, I also have a question for anybody out there with arthritis in their hands, help. Um, as you know, last year, the year before I started getting that I was noticing it opening jars, I was noticing it when I was cutting vegetables, etc. I'm now getting, as the weather's getting a bit colder, these hands are not loving me at all. So, and the comfrey salve doesn't seem to be helping. Um, I did put it on my hands a couple of nights ago and it helped some parts of my hands, but the really sore bits, it didn't seem to help. So any suggestions for pain relief for arthritis would be most appreciated, please. Thank you. Now, I'm going to go and, oh, I'm going to go and speak to Kat because that's her heading downstairs. So I will catch you later. <laughs> 